no exception. Hello. How are you? How are you? I brought you both a gift. Actually, Here you go. Yeah, it's, it's oh, one for you. No, no, no. It's for one for you. One for you. Are they shoes? They may well be shoes. Yes. And you can, I think they're at your right size. I'm not sure. Thank you yeah. very much. No problem, absolute pleasure. I haven't, done a, I haven't done an intro yet in English, so. This could be the intro. Yeah, what's the intro? Hi guys, welcome to Sophie's channel. Hello. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so today, obviously, I'm with Paul and Sam, but what's really exciting is a few weeks ago, I dropped my car off here at Stars Monte Carlo Garage, who have now become the official dealership for TechCut. So you maybe saw my video with the TechCut GT Street R not too long ago. So they've taken my portion and we've put a flurry of various tech art pieces on my car. I wasn't able to film it being put on the car because there were a bunch of other secret things in the garage that I couldn't film. But today's the first time I get to see it and I'm super pumped. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of these. That was the something. There's something, something coming. There's an Aventador, no? Yeah, right, why don't you have a little look. Tell me what you think of these quickly. All right. Because I want your opinion. See if you like them. Is this a variation? Or oh. a this is a, uh, it's actually, so they look very yeah, similar, but it's a completely different shoe. So I'll explain to you why. Can I eBay them? Oh, the color <laughs> the, the ones you said. So it's a, it's a different color. Sick. Different color. Now, so the same color as the interior of my <laughs> Ferrari. No heels. I was going to say on that's, these. What, that's what I was trying to figure. Yeah, so because we're not six foot in these. Yeah, <laughs> we're trying to see what people prefer, with or without the heel. There's the advantage to the heel, but this, if you touch the sole, we made them super comfortable. Yeah, it's got a lot of squeeze. Yeah, a lot of yeah, exactly. Me in a heel, and then like some freaky basketball player. Exactly. So like exactly. Heel, it's like a Nardo grab. That's it. Exactly. I like this on the side. Which it, is, it's like on the Scud seat. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah and GTO nice. seats and stuff. And the orange and the grey is a nice offset. Huh? Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Dude, um, so cool. yeah, these are like perfect. Basically, I made them as sli I've been wearing them for about a month. I made them to be. I'm wearing the old ones now. <laughs> but um, to be oh, slippers. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, oh. I oh, love your yeah. shoes, but gotta go. <laughs> there you go. That's what happens when you're chatting with a spotter. But effectively, these are like the perfect shoe if you're going on a road trip, if you're walking for ages, that's what I wanted them to be like. But it meant we had to redesign the whole side of the shoe yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and everything in order to, to have the same look without having the heel. So what I love, the whole thing's been redesigned. Even the front here had to be tightened. I, I don't know about you, but I've been wearing the ones yeah. even with the heel a lot. Yeah. They are Super comfy, but it, yeah. really, it just makes me like, I just feel like a bit too tall. So yeah, well, this is the idea. Yeah, I've and only, also, I've only got like running trainers, so if I'm wearing like a pair of jeans, yeah. I want to go smarter. Yeah, they're the perfect shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's got a little touch in honor of the Ferrari, it's got Scuderia engraved right there. Oh, sick. So there you go. Will, they be, Very nice. will it be like launched with the Scud? Is it like a. Yeah, they're coming out normally on the 28th of October. They'll be out for sale for around 150 euros so 50 euros cheaper than the last ones because obviously there's less material with the heels so we can make them a bit cheaper there we go very nice da -da -da -da. here we are <laughs> oh yes that looks that looks cool i'm i'm very pleased yeah it does look very close to the wall doesn't it yeah <laughs> coco salut Wow! I don't. Shall we wait for the? <gasps> Look at this first little detail. I just noticed. This is one of the changes. Carbon fiber around the LEDs. Fiber, baby. Does that mean it's lighter now? Yes, of course it does. 911 Turbo S. <laughs> yeah. GT. Yeah, it's a 911 Turbo S R. No. XS RS. Wheels or the same wheels? Different wheels. Different wheels. Change the wheels. Yeah. All right. Stars Monte Carlo means hey, Sam. And I just had a little look around the car. It looks so sick. Just stood here. It looks so much more aggressive. However, I am going to wait to give the full tour of all of the various changes until we're outside because I think we'll see it better outside because there are some pretty epic carbon mainly changes. But pause the video right now and comment down below if you can already spot a few of the changes and I'll go like the comments which have the right answers down below. But anyways, super cool. Thank you so much. You're now doing tech art, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, I think tech art is just uh, extraordinary. Yeah. They, they really do the quality of work that, that we love in stars. 
and so I'm really eager to, to start this collaboration and I'm really happy that you're, you're our first uh, customer on this new tech art. That's right, yes I am. I've forgotten about that, but very cool. Okay, awesome. Well, listen, I'm going to let you drive it out so that I can film it coming out because I want to see it from the outside. All right, I'll take it out. I love it. So, so sick. So it's Monaco, so we're just waiting for my car, but you never know what's what's going to be about. Right? There's a Dela full carbon Delara 488. Did you see all the, the carbon on that one? No, yeah, a ton of carbon. Ton of carbon, yeah. Have you turned around? Oh, <laughs> GTC Voluto. There you go. Oh, yes. <laughs> that looks so sick. It's the lowered. Sorry? Yeah. Being lowered, yeah, definitely. Okay, boys. Shall we do a little... We're excited by your car, but Lewis Hamilton is back in town, so we're both just standing here waiting for his son to come around the corner. So let's pay attention. I really hope it does, because filming the sprint that you guys would go for... I don't have it in me. He, 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 oh, 100%. 100%. He would, he would probably sprint if, if an A45 AMG came by now, so... <laughs> yeah, my... my <laughs> don't tempt it. <laughs> Anyways, look at this. Right. Let's go around, talk about the few differences. Now then. So the, basically what I wanted to do with this car is just add things that I almost felt like should have been options from Porsche okay, so that weren't been a factory spec. So it could have been a factory you know what spec. That's called? OEM plus. Yeah, there you go. OEM plus. So make it into as you said a turbo SR. But right. First thing, carbon fiber around the front LEDs and carbon fiber little winglets, what do you call these? Yeah, it means you've got to have to be more careful because you keep crashing into the car parks when you then you'll have to be careful. Yeah, to yeah, be yeah, because that happens all the time. Lowered, and lowering now makes these rims work. So when I... And back lowered? Yep, yeah. full, full springs, and it's still got the lift system, so they still work with the lift because it is very low. I noticed when it pulled in here, yeah. just how it sits so, so yeah. nice on the road. Uh, and with the exhaust, you now hear it. It's not like abundantly loud, but it just gives it that extra aggressive touch forged wheels really light uh, then we've got we actually made these a little bit darker as well oh, okay. the center locks usually they're silver so to go with the to go with the look then side skirts so these are tech arts kind of inspired by the gt2 rs did the, did the last one sit out it's fun no so the old ones didn't come out at all yeah they're nice it's really nice so so that's that almost makes the biggest difference that's what i didn't expect to notice quite as much yeah. I mean, then you've got the, um, the, the, what do you call them? Um, carbon, car mats. carbon mats. Which are outrageous. Magnificent. <laughs> um, all of the rest of the carbon is standard, apart from this little winglet on the rear window. Nice. That's new. Nice. And again, I think that just adds, so when you come up behind it, you just have that carbon being hit straight from the sun. I think from sun. the back it's going to look super nice once you've got this, this. Yeah. The lowedness, uh, yeah. Exactly, the lowered. These little winglets as well, carbon. Again, you can't get this from, from Porsche. And then the other big one, which we can't see that much now, is the rear diffuser, yeah. which is completely finished in carbon as well. Sick. And Quicksilver exhaust. What about this? Is this from Porsche? That's from Porsche, yeah. Like That's from Porsche. Say, exclusive series. Yeah, exactly. And it doesn't quite here. No, hey, but this is its own exclusive. This is one of one. Exactly, right? exactly. It's super cool. Mate, I'm so happy. I've been waiting so long for this, and you, it's so easy to go nuts when you're ordering these kinds of specs from Tekkan and stuff, because you just want to add as much as you can on the car. Anyway, you are looking at the face of a very, very happy person. This feels like a dream. Johnny, thank you. It looks awesome. Thank you so much. Now I want to go, go drive it. It sits so much nicer, doesn't it? I think definitely on the turbo, you know, you have it, it's a bit high, the car. Yeah. So now it's, it's really fantastic. It makes it all kind of come together nicely. Big fan. Thank you. Right. Boys, shall we go for a drive? Let's do it. It'll start up ready? I think so. Cheeky. And then... <gasps> Sport, yeah. Beautiful. 
you could hear that, couldn't you? I could feel it as well. Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you had this car now? I've had it since February. Okay. That is very good. On, oh my god. See? Oh, oh. You can hear the turbos as well. Yeah, you hear the turbos a lot more. Yeah, it is the best, I mean by far the best car I've ever had. Yeah, it's just so complete. It does everything. Yeah. It's faster than than the Scud. I'm um, sure. Yeah, it's I'll be a faster lot than a lot of modern day supercars. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just so nice to drive as well. And I'm gonna sound really old saying this, but little things like it being easy to park, yeah. um, good parking camera, yeah. Apple CarPlay, yeah. good sound easy system, easy to maneuver. Aircon that actually works. Everything is just there. Everything seems to be in the right yeah. place. Yeah, I'm literally it? listing things I don't have. Yeah, so you know, depressing. But I just, this is Porsche. At least this is modern Porsche. Got the ticket? Pull for yes. Fucking. I do have the BA, Sam. BA. So see, that's in sport. And then BA. when I go in, when I go in normal. Ah, oh, my neck's starting to A bit more subdued. Yeah. I'm running out of neck muscle capacity. You may be released. Glamorous to get out of. Oh, every time I get out, I want to walk around it. Sam's F-Type. Have you started? Oh, that's not <laughs> 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 uh, It does sound, it doesn't sound bad. I tell you what, I think it doesn't, sound great. it doesn't sound as good as the last one. I think if it had always come out like this, we'd say they sounded cool. But because we got used to the old one, um, it's the OPS. Yeah, it's the OPS yeah. yeah. Great, is it? Funny how you drive different according to what it, the, the exhaust sound of your car yeah, is, right? Yeah, yeah. So in the Scud, you just like want to get through yeah. the gears, oh, bang, bang. Whereas with this, you kind of want to get the, the burbles. The burbles, so you, you go up and then you yeah, let yeah. go. The Scud feels special. It feels like an yeah. occasion when you get in it. Whereas this can also do the daily drive yeah. stuff. Definitely, so, it's less of an occasion. Yeah. Um, which, obviously, in an ideal scenario, you could have the best of both worlds. But if you've got a 911 Turbo S, you don't need the no. supercar. The crazy no. car. So you really don't. And I get it because I used to see people with turbo S's and they would always say that. You know, I remember Mass, our friend, our yeah, yeah, friend yeah. he got a turbo S, sold everything else, and I was like, really? Yeah. And then it's it's like you fall into this trap, the Porsche <laughs> trap, it really is a thing. Alright. I'm not there yet, but I'll be close. More tunnel. <laughs> So we've come up to the hills where you can see the carbon so much better. So look at this, oh, on the rear diffuser, that's such a sick looking piece. And the thing which is pretty nuts, that I think is really cool and made me really want to go with the tech hut uh, on the car, is that the carbon is identical to the original Porsche carbon. So the weave is exactly the same. So you can see this right here is original Porsche and this is tech art and you cannot tell the difference. You maybe saw it on my GT Street R video when there was this piece on the 992 and the carbon roof and they actually, the weave even lined up. So that's really cool. It means that you could basically not be able to tell what is original Porsche and what is tech art. I mean, right? No, no, I, I, I literally was just looking at it going, yeah, that's exactly it. It looks OEM plus perfectly. Exactly, because I mean, if, if you had to tell the difference of saying, okay, try and spot what's OEM, try and spot what's tech art. Well, I was about to congratulate, I was going like, oh, you know what's realized is these parts, but I remember you yeah. said those were on the car. Yeah, so those are on the car, exactly, so that's OEM. Yeah, so you're right. No, that's my favorite thing as well, and the way it looks lowered, the lift goes up and down, you know, just the same as it did before. Perfect. Um, so, no, really convenient. Maybe with the wheels? Yeah, I really like the wheels. I think I they. Think the wheels show off the brakes massively. Yes. Yeah. Everything just looks huge. Yeah, exactly. And the the mixture of the new rims and the lowering makes it so much more aggressive. I think these wheels are much more aggressive. They're much more concave at the back as well, and they're so much lighter. They're so light. I picked up the OEM 
wheels and these, and it's like yeah, really? so much lighter. I sh yeah. yeah, try and pick it up. Exactly. Okay, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> but no, I'm so pleased. This is one of the pieces you notice the most around front. But yeah, very very happy, guys. Thanks for coming to pick up the car with me. Well, no, thanks, thanks for having us. us. Yeah, thanks pleasure. For up here. It's always thanks nice. for the shoes as well. No problem. Hope you enjoy the shoes. Don't yes, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to get those out. But yeah, thank you all also for watching. Huge thank you, of course, to Tech Art because, yeah, the car looks epic. I just keep finding myself looking, going around it and looking at it through all the different angles. I think it looks so, so cool. And thank you, of course, to Stars Monte Carlo as well for getting everything on the car. Anyways, there'll be plenty more videos with this car coming very, very soon. Cheers, guys. See you soon. Bye -bye.